At the end of this video, I'll share a Craigslist hack that will send potential clients to your inbox. Being an artist is fun. Being an artist is easy. We're just playing all day. That's the common misconception about being an artist, right? What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a good day or a good afternoon, whichever time of day that uh, you decided to start watching this video. So in this video, you are watching me paint a piece that I titled Working Hands. And this was done with uh, traditional paint, acrylic paint, as well as paint markers, which is my new favorite medium to work in. Uh, and now some of you may be asking, well, when are you going to do something digital again? I'll get around to that at some point. But, you know, you've got to stay versatile because I find that the traditional work informs the digital work and vice versa. But yeah, this piece that I'm working on here was inspired by uh, some articles and studies I did on the migrant workers here uh, in Northern California and just the parallels between them and my own ancestors who picked cotton and tobacco and, and sugar canes and things uh, down in the South uh, not too long ago. And, you know, it got me to thinking about just the grind and the struggle that they went through, you know, just to help build this country into what it is today. And I can't help but think about the common misconception that a lot of people have about art and artists and how you know, just the the idea that we're just playing. We're, we, we get to sit down and color and draw and paint and have fun all day. And, you know, for those of us who know uh, what it means to do art, and you, you know that that's not always the case, people don't realize a lot of times. And I would dare to say even some artists don't really realize the work, the hard work that goes into being an artist, being a working artist, let's put it that way. Someone who's paying the bills with their work, with their craft. In the beginning, you know, I never really thought about, honestly, because it sounds fun and it seems like it uh, is one of those ideal situations where you get to sit down and play all day but the truth of the matter is um, it takes quite a bit in fact there's the work mentality there's the work ethic involved because art is so what's the word inspiration driven a lot of times or at least that's the perception is that you need to be inspired to create. And yeah, there is that part, but then there's also the part where you are a professional, you've been paid and so you have to get it done. And I, I don't know if it was, yeah, I don't know which artist it was that, that, said this but they they made the statement that um inspiration is for amateurs sometimes you just have to sit down and make it happen just put something on the page no matter how bad it is until something starts to click something starts to you know you get those juices flowing and then you get going you know and, and I talked about um, getting in that euphoric place of where the work is just flowing out of you and time is passing and you, you're not even conscious 
of the fact that you're hungry or you have to use the restroom or it's too hot or it's too cold. You're just in the zone. And, you know, those are beautiful times, but those are rare. A lot of times it's just we just got to get this out. Good or bad. And you struggle with it. You may get up and have to walk away and then come back and then you can see things with the new fresh perspective. Art is a grind and you work hard and you have to if you want to stay relevant, if you want to put food on the table uh, and keep clients coming in. There is a lot of work involved in it. And just for myself, you know, starting off in graphic design, you know, you had or I had a regular nine to five and you'd sit down and someone would have work for you to do. And you just kind of work and you, you put in your eight hours or however long you're expected to work. And then you leave at the end of the day and then you start all over again the next day. Oh, but once I crossed over into freelance, um, it's a different animal. And I was blessed with the opportunity to do that in tandem with holding down a job. And well, actually, I started off with um, an internship. And so I did that. And then I also did uh, some freelance work on the side for uh individuals that I knew from church and from other places they found out that I did art and so they wanted me to do flyers and and logos business cards and things and so I got kind of got my feet wet in the entrepreneurial side of art at an early age so then as years progressed and I started doing more work for more people aside from holding down a, a, a regular paying job uh, you know, I begin to just develop the calluses, if you would, of freelance and entrepreneurship. And so now years later, I look back at what I had to do to get to where I am today. And it took a lot of building. It took a lot of trial and error. It took a lot of pivoting, bending but not breaking, uh, learning to develop contracts and what to do and what not to do, what to say and what not to say. And it's just, you know, it's been a long journey. It's been a tough one. But, you know, I thank God for it. Um, I've learned a lot. There's also the grind of getting the work in the first place and the hoops that you have to jump through and the context you have to make, the relationships you have to maintain and the networking that has to be done to acquire work, to find work, to get work. And these days, that is an even taller task because a lot of work is going overseas and a lot of work is going to AI. And so we as artists, we have to stay vigilant. We have to stay flexible. We have to continue to learn and to grow. And so, yeah, I mean, I feel like there is this this is new frontier for us. It's exciting, but at the same time, it can be scary. But we can't just sit back and complain about it and say, woe is me. We have to do something. We have to find new ways to stay relevant. Yeah, and I accept the, the challenge. I hope you do too. I hope you join me in this fight, in this struggle, as we continue this art journey together. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I want to show my appreciation by sharing a Craigslist hack I use for acquiring new clients. Check the link in the description for more details.